Well, hey everybody, welcome to the second edition of the Local Good News. Paper tap. Oh. We love celebrating birthdays here, and Grace Bonelli wants to wish her December babies a happy birthday. Amelia is turning seven this month, and Raphael is turning six. We want to wish them a happy birthday as well. So happy birthday to you both. Grace also wanted to celebrate someone very special. She would like to honor our very own Pastor Garland and says, thank you for always keeping me in your prayers and for your wise words. Well, honoring the people that we are blessed to have in our lives is so important, and we don't do it often enough. So we just collectively want to say, thank you, Pastor Garland, for all you do. We love you. Well, this was definitely an unexpected year. Well, the year was expected, but what came with the year was unexpected. And a lot of us had to learn how to find community during a time that was very isolating. So we're grateful that we were able to continue gathering together as a church familia through Church Online. And that so many of you chose to lean in and stay engaged, even though it's not the way that we were used to doing church, and it might have felt a little bit different. But God was still moving during quarantine, and we want to celebrate the people that became part of our familia without ever setting foot on campus. Roberto and Melanie Garcia, Hap and Katie Olin, both of these couples joined our familia through Church Online and attended Connect Track with this online as well. They even served at the Saturday food distributions that we had throughout quarantine. Danielle Garner, is someone who also joined us through Church Online and attending Connect Track. And Danielle, we are so happy that you are part of our familia. Amber White is someone else who joined us in the midst of quarantine, and she actually shared her experience with us. Let me read this to you. This is from Amber White. She says, During the quarantine, I knew I was in need of something more in my life. I felt like something was missing. And with all the chaos in the world, I was really in need of finding my purpose. I knew that getting closer to Jesus would help me. When Luisa Dominguez recommended the local church, I reached out to Carson. She was so warm and inviting. I told her I wanted to be part of a family since I grew up Catholic and didn't feel that that was a big concept in my church. When Carson told me that the, that the local church was the perfect place for imperfect people and that we refer to each other as familia, I joined my first online service. I attended every weekend and felt my heart opening up, and I soon realized that now nothing was missing in my life. I felt a part of the familia even with the online services. And when the church opened up and I attended my first in-person service, I felt like I was home. Now I'm working on Connect Track and find, finding ways that I can become an active member in the church. I just want to say that's incredible. Thank you so much for sharing that, Amber. And also thank you, Louisa, for living out really our mission here at the local church, which, which is to connect local people to Jesus and to one another. So thank you again, Louisa, for reaching out and bringing Amber along. Hey, our new youth director, Austin Ranton, and his wife, Maria, along with their two sons, Hudson and Tyler, joined us and got connected through church online as well. And they wanted to share their experience with us. So let's hear from them, Austin and Maria. What's up, local church? Austin here, this is my wife, Maria, and we are so excited to be a part of the local familia. But it was during the pandemic of 2020 uh, where we had some uncertain times in our life uh, and we started to watch online and we got plugged in and we started taking connect track uh, and we found family at the local church. Yeah, it was crazy from not even stepping foot on the mm -hmm. campus and still feel like we had found familia through the connect track and even cooler that God had bigger plans and even allowed him to join staff through this pandemic has really been a blessing. So we are super grateful to have found the local church and to call it home. Absolutely. We love you. We can't wait to meet you even more. Well, that's incredible. Austin and Maria, thank you so much for sharing that. Now, we've had some submissions uh, since our first local good news, but Austin actually reached out and shared a funny with us that we want to share with you as well. Why is the Christmas alphabet different from the regular alphabet? Because it has no L. Thank you, Austin, for that. Well, part of local good news is that we want to share some Christmas do's and don'ts with you. 
Do spend time with your family in the kitchen, baking, cooking, all of those wonderful things. But don't do what I did and accidentally rearrange the spice rack. Okay, Tracy hasn't found out yet, but my time is a cumin. Do spend time with your loved ones this Christmas. Travel safely if you can do so. But if you're not traveling, please don't tell your luggage. You'll end up with emotional baggage. We can help with that here at the local church. Well, Familia, we're less than a week away from Christmas, and we can't wait to spend Christmas Eve with you here at the local church. And we want to encourage you, just like Louisa did, invest and invite people. It's proven that people will come to church with you during this season if you just simply invite them. So go to thelocalchurch.com slash Christmas for more information and service times. We can't wait to see you here. Well, Familia, it's been a really weird year. But here's to wishing you Christmas cheer.